Assalamu alaikum and today we are going to take off with lecture number five and the courses operation strategies course code is 563 and I believe after the four lectures you get the flavor of the course okay what exactly we are trying to learn basically uh, there are a lot of things that has happened in the past uh, few weeks with reference to operations I'll tell you what is happening in uh, Microsoft some new operation strategy and uh, today the topic that we are going to cover is operation strategy and competitiveness well a little bit about the recap what we did last time was uh, uh, in lecture number four uh, that was basically operations Joe uh, excellence uh, it is fundamental for strategic success why it is that we started then uh, we have already covered in the previous lectures ke what exactly is strategy per operation strategy kya hoti hai, and then how operation strategy is synced with your overall strategy and why it is so much crucial then how operation strategy learn from operational experience ke aapka jo operational experience hota hai, how you learned learn on developing and making your operation strategy Uske baad, how do the requirements of market uh, of the market influence operation strategy like markets ki forces up operation strategy ko kis ka se change karti hai. we talked about the resource based view and uh, ke market se jab aapki, uh, needs change ho rahi hoti hai. when customers are requiring different kinds of products then it directly affects our operations strategy and then the last two points that what is the content of operation strategy and number two what is the process of operation strategy these were uh, are pretty important when we are talking about operations strategy now a uh, little bit of uh, operations in a sense ke agar hum isko dekhe, when operations have started it is pretty much important for your operations manager to understand that external factors concern and internal factors concern. And remember that both these factors are changing dynamically. And they are changing and it is the job of the operations manager how to keep them aligned. Now in order to uh, have a world class operations, what we do is external the yellow part that you are seeing that is actually external take it uh, what uh, we need for that we need competitiveness we need strong marketing agar marketing achieve the margin per investment and then uh, it's basically you have the uh, operations strategy on the other side what kind of resources you need in terms of operations ek side pe aapki market hai dusri side pe aapke operations hai theek hai now that is the internal part the another one is your external part ab internal part ke andar understanding the processes uske baad competencies that are embedded in the operations and capabilities that enhance innovation and improvement uh, improvement sorry and that leads to world class of ab isko wo kya kehte hain they are not calling it as the Wishless, uh, wishless cycles they call it as a virtuous cycle because if you are having these both uh, circles going and they are aligned with each other so then you are having world-class operations then if you are saying uh, it's a comparison of new demands placed on the order fulfillment processes by potential new business opportunities now if you look at the horizontal axis like this one that is number of items per order and on this one that is also number of items per order here we have small and over here it is large over here it is narrow and over here it is wide now what we are trying to do is that just as your demands increase ho rahi hai, waise waise aapki operations maybe obviously aapka change aega and we are going to produce more and uh, the more you are going to have production of your operations us mein kya honi chahiye? Achhi honi chahiye. and if your operations are lagging behind your market demand then obviously that is not a good thing but if your operations meet the demands of the customer meets what they are expecting in terms of quality then we can have kiji aap ki jo operations hai, it has an effective capacity uh, uh, capability in order to fulfill these uh, resources 
नाउ ऑपरेशन रिसोर्सेज एक साइड पे है और एक साइड पे आपकी मार्केट यानी ये दोनों आपके इंटरनल और एक्सटर्नल आपके चल रहे होते हैं एंड दिस इज नोन एज हेगन स्टाइल नाउ दिस इज बेसिकली द एग्जांपल दैट यू गोइंग टू स्टडी इन द बुक बेसिकली उसके दो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सेंटर हैं उसके रिसोर्सेज और ऑपरेशन के देन स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट पैकिंग एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोसेस हैं गुड एट विथ वॉट इट डज कॉस्ट एफिशेंट एंड फास्ट थ्रू पुट ये उसके ऑपरेशन की केपेबिलिटीज हैं मार्केट रिक्वायरमेंट्स में आपके क्या आ जाते हैं कि जी आपकी कॉस्ट एफिशिएंसी हो फास्ट डिलीवरी हो उसके बाद आपका जो पुराना एक चैनल था डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन का दैट इज एक्चुअली डिक्लाइनिंग नाउ द न्यू चैनल्स आर इंटरनेट आ गया डिस्काउंट स्टोर्स आ गए सो बिकॉज ऑफ दीज दीज थिंग्स आपका जो ऑपरेशन रिसोर्स है वो भी आपके उसी एक्सटर्नल ड्राइव्स की वजह से चेंज हो रहे होते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल अर्लियर हमारे डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैनल्स के अंदर वी हैड होल सेलर्स रिटेलर्स एंड ऑल दैट काइंड ऑफ वैल दीज पीपल होते हैं स्टेक होल्डर्स होते हैं बट अब क्या होता जा रहा है दैट कंपनी ने जैसे ही प्रोडक्ट बनाया दे हैव दे पुट इट ऑन द इंटरनेट और आपकी ई रिटेलिंग स्टार्ट होगी ना ई रिटेलिंग हैज गि न्यू जिसे कहते हैं डायमेंशन टू द ऑपरेशन बिकॉज नाउ यू डोंट नीड एनी स्टोरेज यू नीड स्टोरेज हाउस बट यू डोंट नीड टू डिलीवर प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू वन अदर इन टर्म्स ऑफ पुटिंग दम ऑन द शेल्फ और पुटिंग दम इन द स्टोर वॉट यू हैव टू डू make it or you just uh, uh, after making it what you have done is it aapne usko advertise kiya through through the internet aur aapke customers ne wahi se wala product khareed liya on the other side uh, ab aapke operations aur bhi effective aate ja rahe hain for example there is make to order mto make to order uh, uske baad assemble to order hai uske baad aapka there is a different kinds of operation strategies by which you have actually made your operations effective now why this efficiency was required why this effectiveness was required because aapki jo global world aapki globalization hai and there are so many other external factors that are actually changing so rapidly that it forces the operations to uh, to change and it forces the operations to actually take a new look because uske andar hame zyada se zyada efficiency chahiye hoti hai ओके नाउ एज वी सॉ के जी इन इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स के एक साइड में आपके रिसोर्सेज हैं ऑन द अदर साइड योर यू हैव योर ऑपरेशंस एंड हाउ दे आर मैचिंग विद ईच अदर मार्केट से क्या रिक्वायरमेंट्स आती है क्या डिमांड्स आती है और आपकी किस तरह वो इफेक्ट करती है आपकी ऑपरेशंस को वहीं पे लेट्स सी दैट व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ योर ऑपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी ऑपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी एक्चुअली गिवज यू द प्लान Uh, how to use the resources in the best manner number 1 uh, what that plan includes number 1 it includes the specifics the policies and plans for using the organizational resources jo ki aapke organization ke andar jo resources hain unko hum kaise use kare that is entailed in your operation strategy number 2 it supports the business strategy now let's come on to the next slide ke what how it supports the business strategy now बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी या उसको हम फंक्शनल स्ट्रैटी करते हैं इफ यू रिमेंबर लेक्चर नंबर टू आई वॉज टॉकिंग आर कम्प्लीट वर्क ऑन आर बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी नाउ बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी इट इज एक्चुअली द डिफाइंस द लॉन्ग रेंज प्लान फॉर द कंपनी एंड ऑन बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी के आगे हमारे तीन फर्दर ऑन स्ट्रैटीज बनती है वन इज योर मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटी एंड अदर वन इज योर ऑपरेशन स्ट्रैटी एंड थर्ड वन इज योर फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रैटी Now I will be focusing on your operation strategy that basically develops a plan for the operations function to support the business strategy. And if you see कि जितने भी हैं ये तीनों आपकी marketing, operations and financial strategy they are again uh, singing with your business strategy कि how to achieve the goals and targets and objectives that they have used in your uh, this uh, operation strategy. Now what is the importance of operation strategy? companies often do not understand the difference between your operational efficiency and strategy now that is pretty important to understand when you are studying operation strategy ki efficiency ko hum kis tarah define kar rahe hain or what we actually interpret from efficiency and what is exactly operation strategy now operational efficiency kya hota hai it is performing the tasks well even better than the competitors like it's not you alone in the market there are so many other people now efficiency mere andar us waqt aayegi when i say that i am performing much better as compared to my uh, competitors now that efficiency may be in terms of cost that efficiency may be in terms of usage of technology that efficiency may be in terms of your uh, time 
uh, in terms of your throughput ratio so there are so many ways by which we can have efficiency and that is one of the requirements ke ji jo kaam aapne 10 ghante mein karna wo agar 5 ghante mein karna so i am an efficient i have an efficiency now operations ke andar efficiency is uh, required hoti because the more efficient the process is the more uh, profit is going to give you uh, because it has been uh, it has been proven ke ji aapke operations which is are uh, jise kehte hain na is uh, functional which is always a uh, uh, flow variable which is keep on moving so uske andar agar aapki efficiency hai so it means that your operations are actually improving day by day on the other side aapka jo strategy hoti hai operation strategy that is a plan for competing in the marketplace so on one side we are talking about a plan on the other side we are talking about the uh, performing task so operational efficiency is more of an action and operation strategy is more of a uh, plan that how we are going to compete with our competitors now operation strategy is to ensure all tasks are performed are the right task ke jitne bhi aapne tasks perform kar rahe hain wo aapki sahi tasks aap sahi tarike se perform kar rahe hain yani effectiveness ka jo aapka concept aa jata hai then when you are developing a business strategy uh you have to develop it after taking account of number of factors and some of the strategic decisions that you are going to make in your business strategy is number one what business is the company in jo ki aapki mission statement hai i already covered in lecture number 2 then analyzing and understanding the market वो हम बेस्ट एनालिसिस कर रहे थे जो पॉलिटिकल इकोनॉमिक सोशल एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल ये भी आपकी बिजनेस स्ट्रेटजी के अंदर करें एंड लास्ट में आइडेंटिफाइंग द कंपनीज स्ट्रेंथ ये जो आपकी स्वॉट एनालिसिस करते हैं सो दे फॉर वी आर डूइंग ऑल दीज थ्री थिंग्स फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ योर बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी नाउ थ्री इनपुट्स टू आर बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी इज नंबर वन आपकी जो इन्वायरमेंटल स्कैनिंग होगी इन्वायरमेंटल स्कैनिंग में आप क्या कर रहे हैं मेकिंग द बिजनेस इन्वायरमेंट फॉर मार्केट ट्रेंड्स थ्रेड्स एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट इज हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट इन आर डेली लाइफ इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड डोंट थिंक कि जी सिर्फ ये ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फर्स्ट टाइम ही करना है इवन वेन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज ईयर्स ओल्ड कोई नया वेंचर करने लगे हैं कोई नया प्रोडक्ट इंट्रोड्यूस करने लगे हैं देन even though the swot is necessary and this has to be done on regular basis a number 2 mission mission is basically the statement that defines what is our business who are our clients uh, or customers and how our values define our business so this actually gives you in black and white that what is the purpose that why we are in business number 3 aapki core competencies aa jati hain not your strengths is basically uh, these are your unique characteristics these are your unique which se kehte hain capabilities which actually differentiates you from your competitors and that makes you Uh, sustainable in the market. So those are your core competencies. जब ये तीनों को हम कर लेते हैं इस बेसिस पे हम क्या फॉर्मुलेट करते हैं वी डिवेलप आर बिजनेस स्ट्रैट एंड दैट इज अ बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी विच इज एक्चुअली गिविंग यू द लॉन्ग टर्म प्लान फॉर द कंपनी विच इज बेस्ड ऑन दीज थ्री इनपुट्स सो दीज थ्री इनपुट्स आर हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ स्ट्रैटीज क्या हो सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल मिशन अब अगर हम डेल का एग्जाम्पल है डेल दैट इज अ कंप्यूटर कंपनी विच से जी मेरा मिशन क्या है टू बी द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल कंप्यूटर कंपनी इन द वर्ल्ड दैट्स व्हाट डेल से देन इन्वायरमेंटल स्कैनिंग जब वो करेगा इसके अंदर द कंपनी इज गोइंग टू सी आपके पॉलिटिकल ट्रेंड्स देखेगा आपके सोशल ट्रेंड्स देखता है आपके इकोनॉमिक ट्रेंड्स देखता है आपके मार्केट प्लेस ट्रेंड्स देखते हैं और आपके ग्लोबल ट्रेंड्स देखता है Uh, not necessary global trends like if you're if you're a small company but given the delk international operations are so you have to see global trends ko bhi dekhna hota hai and then you look at the company's core competencies ab core competencies mein kya aata hai aapki strength of workers how your workers are then your modern facilities ki ji aapke paas jo infrastructure hai aapki company ka wo kaisa hai then market understanding and then your best technologies financial know how your logistics these are all included in your core competencies because given ke agar aapki inke andar efficiency hai that actually differentiates you from your competitor now after having the inputs from these things like on your mission your environmental scanning and your core competencies now what we are going to do is that we have our business strategy formulated now 
اب آپریشن سٹریٹیجی کو کس طرح ہم نے ڈیویلپ کرنا ہے آپریشن سٹریٹیجی is the plan for the design and management of operations functions operations is one of the many of the functions in any business so آپ نے اس کے اندر کیا کرنا ہے that how you are going to develop the plan it is developed after the business strategy once you have developed the business strategy your long term plan what you want to do where you want to be what kind of core competences you have everything after development of business strategy then comes your operation strategy that how you're going to do it whatever you are saying that you may a service provide karunga or i'm going to give you this uh, product how it is going to happen so that is being uh, chalked out in uh, your operations strategy now operation strategy it focuses on the specific capabilities which give it a competitive edge and that is known as your competitive priorities so that is important in terms of your competitiveness that you need to know kabhi mere operations baki companies ya baki competitors ke sath kis tarah different ho ke hote hain now operation strategy designing the operation function so remember that it's basically more of an action plan so business strategy here that defines the long range plans for the company اب آپ کی آپریشن سٹریٹجی کیا کر رہی ہے اٹ ڈیولپس اے پلان فار دا آپریشن فنکشن فوکسنگ آن اسپیسیفک کمپیریٹو پرائرٹیز ان آرڈر ٹو میٹ دا لانگ رینج پلان اب وہ کون کون سی ہیں چیزیں وچ یو آر ایکچولی لکنگ کمپیریٹو پرائرٹیز میں یہ یاد سے لائک ان اینی آپریشن انٹرویو وی یو آر اپلائنگ اور اف یو آر ٹیکنگ اینی ٹیسٹ اور اینی تھنگ دے آر ڈیفینیٹلی گوئنگ ٹو دے آر آلویز اسٹارٹ اپ وتھ دس کہ جی آپ کی کمپیریٹو پرائرٹیز کیا ہیں and remember there are four competitive priorities number one is your cost number two is your quality number three is your time and number four is your flexibility cost number two quality number three time and number four is your flexibility these are highly important in terms of your operations uh, competitiveness and these are my priorities now uh, when i'm saying about uh, in the next lecture we are do we are do going to discuss them in detail but for the sake of uh, just developing the linkage i would say ki cost mein hamesha kya karta hu ki meri cost efficiency ho for quality mein it needs to be a higher quality theek hai operations iske sath kabhi bhi compromise nahi kar sakta that let's go for a low quality project but i have a great efficiency no that is not going to be accepted at all then time دیٹ اوکے کتنے ٹائم کے اندر آپ کی پروڈکشن ہو رہی ہے از اٹ آپ کا جو ٹائم سائیکل ہے از اٹ اے شارٹ ون اور از اٹ اے لانگ ون ٹھیک ہے اینڈ دین فلیکسیبلٹی پروڈکشن کے اندر آپریشنس کے اندر ممبر اگر آپ بہت زیادہ ریجڈ ہوں گے دین آپ کی جو کہتے ہیں آپریشنس اس طریقے سے فلیکسیبل نہیں ہوں آپ کے اگر فلیکسیبلٹی نہیں ہوتی آپریشنس اس طریقے سے نہیں چل سکتے ریزن بینگ یو سی کہ ہم نے وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکسڈ اینڈ وی ہیو اگریڈ اپان اٹ کہ آپ کے جو ایکسٹرنل فیکٹرز ہیں دے آر کیپ آن چینج ایون جو ہم کور کمپیٹنس ہیں وہ بھی آپ کی کمپنیز کی چینج ہوتی رہتی ہیں بیکاز لیبر آتا ہے دیر آر سم نیو آئیڈیاز دین دے جنریٹ سم نیو پروجیکٹس لیکن جیسے ہی وہ ایف یو آر امپلائیز لیو تو آپ کی آرگنائزیشن از اگین ان ٹو اے نیو فکس کائنڈ آف سچویشن سو یو نیڈ اے نیو سیٹ آف اسکلس فار دیٹ now in terms of ke ji aapka jo hai flexibility agar nahi hogi if this is what it is if if there is no change in your uh, operations then obviously our competitor hamse zyada edge leting so the more you have flexibility kyunki production ka output kam ya zyada bhi ho sakta hai production style change ho sakta hai you can apply any quality circle into it so the more you are bringing changes the more uh, actually we are gearing ourselves towards efficiency lekin agar aapke operations ke andar us kisam ki flexibility hai hi nahi so then there, that is going to create some issues in terms of your operational performance in terms of your operational strategy now design the operational function after the development of your uh, strategy we go for operational function our operational function kya karta hai it is developed to focus on identified competitive properties jo meri competitive properties i am just now completely focusing on that aap kya ho sakta hai that what are your facilities what is the flow of goods aap kis kisam se aapka ho raha hai and what kind of technology you are using and in terms of infrastructure we are talking about planning and control system workers pay quality so there are two things when we are developing the operational function one is your structure and another one is your operation uh, infrastructure jo aapka structure hota hai that is basically your jo hardware hai aur jo aapka infrastructure that is basically your workers pay quality jo aapke qualitative variables hai now 
these are the four important uh, priorities in operations anywhere and go go to in a service sector go to in NGOs go to uh, the public sector go to corporate sector this is on which we have to compete and these four are very important number one your cost number two quality number three time and number four your flexibility and all of them yes all of them are exactly important and not some and there are trade-offs now when we are competing on cost what happens कॉस्ट की अपने स्ट्रैटेजी भी पड़ी थी बट बेसिकली जब हम ऑपरेशन के अंदर कॉस्ट के फैक्टर को लेके आते हैं दैट ओके इट इज़ वन ऑफ द कम्पेटिटिव फैक्टर्स वॉट वी आर एक्चुअली लुकिंग इन टू दैट यू आर ऑफरिंग योर प्रोडक्ट एट अ वेरी लो प्राइस एंड इन रिलेटिव टू द कम्पटिशन नंबर वन वाई बिकॉज यू हैव स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग द गुड्स एट अ वेरी हाई वॉल्यूम आपने क्वान्टिटी उसकी बहुत ज़्यादा इंक्रीज कर दी वंस यू हैव स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग द क्वान्टिटी वॉट हैपन्स इज uh that uh, your per unit cost starts falling down so number 2 often limit product range other and often little customization jitni zyada aapki production line ke andar customization hogi utni zyada aapki costs badh rahi hoti because every customer has his own taste and style so agar aapne apni cost ko kam karna hai what we usually do is that we start uh offering less customization and we offer the we or uh, we do limit the production the product range instead of uh increasing the product range we reduce the product range and we actually uh offer little customization so uh, with that what you are doing is we actually are actually decreasing the cost then uh what i can do is i can also reduce cost by bringing more people by replacing people with machines by having more motiv- uh, automation to reduce the unit costs then uh, can use lower skill labor the more the labor skill is the more salaries you are going to give and that becomes part of your cost but if you are low level low level yeah low skill labor then you don't have to pay much so that is also one of the ways of reducing your cost बट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ बिजनेस लेकिन अगर आपका कोई हाईली स्किल्ड जहाँ पर वर्कर की जरूरत है और बिल्कुल वैसा ही है सो देन देर इज़ नो यूज कि जी आप यू आर कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर क्वालिटी सो इट इज़ रिक्वायर्ड कि जी किस किस्म का आपका बिजनेस है देन यू से कि जी ओके लो स्किल वर्कर्स भी चल जाएंगे दैन प्रॉबली यूज प्रोडक्ट फोकस्ड ले आउट्स एंड लास्ट वन इज लो कॉस्ट डज नॉट रिमेन मीन लो क्वालिटी एक ये बड़ी परसेप्शन है कि इफ़ द प्राइस इज़ हाई इट वुड बी हाई क्वालिटी इफ़ द प्राइस इज लो इट वुड बी अ लोअर क्वालिटी लेकिन अगर आप इस तरह कर रहे हैं दैट यू आर हैविंग अ हाई प्रोडक्शन यू आर हैविंग अ हाई टर्न ओवर दैट डजेंट मीन दैट यू हैव कॉम्प्रोमाइज विद द क्वालिटी क्वालिटी के साथ आपने कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं करना इन एनी सॉर्ट इन एनी ऑपरेशन नाउ नंबर टू आफ्टर कॉस्ट दैन कम्स योर क्वालिटी Now, quality is very important. Different quality gurus ne quality ko different three uh, concepts uh, ko define kia hai. And one of the ways of defining quality is say what you do, do what you say. That's what in uh, ISO we have been learning. Now, uh, quality is basically subjective. It's not objective concept. It is subjective. Maybe for you, quality the way you will define quality that is totally different. the way i'll define quality that is totally different and the thing is ki jab aap is tarah quality ko perceive karte hain because quality different log different uh, angles ke sath perceive kar rahe hain i being uh, uh, being a professor at comsats i perceive quality in a different manner when i'm delivering any pro- any product any project any lecture you being the student you perceive quality in a different manner your parents perceive quality of uh, education in a different manner so every stakeholder perceives quality in a different manner now the beauty is ke quality us waqt ye abhi the perception hai the beauty is ke quality uh, once your perception aapne perceive kiya hota that okay i go to that restaurant khana bahut acha hoga ambiance bahut achhi hogi ye cheez bahut achhi hogi so what you are doing is that you have generated the function of expected quality and if it exceeds your call uh, exceeds your expectation then you become a loyal customer so agar aapke operations ke andar quality hai so automatically aapke number of customers increase hote jayenge so therefore uh, it's a pretty 
subjective concept it's not uh, very objective and people have different uh, views about how they define quality uh, as in the second point it said that quality is defined is defined differently depending upon who is defining it there are two major qualities there are two major dimensions in quality number one product and service uh, number one high performance design अब डिज़ाइन के अंदर हम क्या कहते हैं इट हैज नीड्स टू हैव सुपीरियर फीचर्स इट नीड्स टू हैव हायर ड्यूरेबिलिटी एंड एक्सेलेंट कस्टमर सर्विस दिस इज बेसिकली हाई परफॉर्मेंस डिज़ाइन अब यू कैन सी द एग्जांपल ऑफ स्टीव जॉब्स एप्पल यू कैन सी द एग्जांपल ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सी कि जी आपका जो हाई परफॉर्मेंस डिज़ाइन है दैट इज़ हाईली इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इससे आपका क्या होता है you are actually getting the constant customer feedback and if the customer is giving good uh, feedback it means ke hamare operations acche then uh, second aapka kya aata hai product and service in it uh, consistency meet design specifications close to tolerances and error free delivery usually again kaha gaya jata hai that if the product doesn't have consistency then people are not going to buy it because people come to buy because they have liked the previous product or agar naya product waisa na ho they would say oh it was a wastage of money why i came to this shop then uh, quality needs to us now comes the question mark that what does quality need from us now what it is requiring is basically uh, product design quality product service meets requirements so we baat jo main bhi aapko bata raha tha and the second one is process quality that is error free products now that is one of the important points in terms of error free products ki ji aapke products mein quality aapne ensure ki hui hai and they are error free jitne zyada aapke product ke andar error hoga utni zyada aapki problem aayegi so it's better that we start uh, moving with your with the quality perception ki ji uh, yes we need to minimize the cost we need to deliver it on time but let's not forget that okay you cannot compromise with quality then quality needs to address kya address karna chahti hai product design uh, quality like and your product service meets the requirements whatever you have said it is actually being done and the second part is your process quality error free products can you aap jo products use kar rahe hain uske andar aapka jo process hai that should be full proof that should be very good it should have error free uh, products now humne cost kiya humne quality ki now let's do the time part time and speed is one of the important parts in your competition you might have uh, heard about this dominos dominos get the i'll deliver you the pizza in i think 30 minutes and if it is 31 minutes i'll give you the pizza for free just imagine the confidence that they have that okay their riders can actually take the the this uh quality part or their riders can also take on the 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 time part in an easy way okay so time and speed one of the most important competition priority because agar aapke product ki timing nahi sahi then no use to launch the product theek hai now first that they can deliver often wins the race the more you are proactive or aapne wo jaise global trends international trends country ke trends agar aap dekh liye hain so you can forecast what kind of product they require so agar aapne pehle uski production mai keeping in mind the forecast offered to you then you, what you are doing is that you have actually uh, are a winning uh, type pro company so first that can deliver often wins the race so uh, the, the simple rule is you have to deliver the product you have to make the product for your competitor then on time delivery deliver product exactly when it's needed and when needed every time so that is on time delivery you order a pizza you would say that it takes like 1 hour no but within 30 minutes agar aapka aa jata hai and you now start predicting their functionalities ki ji every jis din mein main pizza maine order karna hai if i just have to order it 30 minutes ago before it will come within 30 minutes so is kisam ki credibility aapka jo hai to hai customer aur aapki jo company hoti hai unko is kisam ki ability ya is kisam ki understanding usne develop karni hai last 
flexibility. Now, company environment changes rapidly. Uh, we have agreed upon it. Then, uh, company ko phir yin changes ko kya karna chahiye? Resist karna chahiye? Adapt karna chahiye? Well, few years back, if we had asked this question in Pakistan, they would have said, let's adapt it. Theek hai, koi issue nahi. Uh, we have um, so many issues. So, ek aur issue ko aap kya kar do? Adapt kar lo. But, uh, uh, as the company environment keep on changing, aapka political scenario change hota hai, aapka economic scenario change hota hai, aapka uh, political, economic, social demography ko change ho ki hai. So, it is directly going to affect your operations. So, whatever changes are coming, hume kya hona chahiye, hume itni apni operations ke andar flexibility hona chahiye that you can actually abreast to these changes. Ab kya hai? product flexibility in the each switch production from one item to another yani aap apni product product ko switch kar rahe ho number 2 easily customize product to meet the specific requirements of a customer aapke product aapki production line mein itni capacity hai ki agar kisi customer ne aapko customize product karne ko kaha hai you can actually make that product very easily then uh, that is basically your product flexibility then comes your Volume flexibility. Volume flexibility kya hota hai? Ability to ramp production up and down to the match market demands. So what you do is that aapki jo volume flexibility or aapki jo hoti hai product flexibility that are core concepts that are very important in terms of your uh, competing on flexibility. Now, the need of trade-offs. If you remember the definition, it said that, okay, does it have any trade-offs or not? Now, uh, decisions must emphasize priorities that support business strategy. Any job you have a decision in here should be geared towards your business strategy. Number two, decisions often required the trade-offs. We know that. Ab which priorities are in our order qualifier and order winner? Order qualifier or order winner me kya That is basically an operations management concept. Ab order jo qualifier hota hai, yeah. Order qualifier, he is basically, he has hidden himself or jo hota hai, main corporate uh, entity se, he has actually, he is just observing. And once he's observing, to aapko kya kar raha hai? Minimum jo quality requirement hoti hai, usko wo pura karta hai and he just goes in the market. So, uh, in terms of the trade-offs, aapke jo qualifiers hoti hai, wo kya karta hai? Minimum, minimum jo aapki requirement hai ya koi standards aapke product ke wo usko accept kar lena to bhi se go, okay, they are order qualifiers. Then, dusra aa jata hai order winner. And that is another breed of operation managers. Get you opening company me kya uh, apply kare. It may be order winner or it may be order uh, order winner or order qualifier. Now which priorities are order winner? Take your order winners me kya hota hai. Winners kya hota hai kya aapke expectations ko bhi cross kar jata hai. That's why they are, people are returning to them as their customer. Which priorities are orders winner? Southwest a airline competes on cost. We all we almost know. McDonald's competing on consistency. Federal Express FedEx on speed and custom tailors completed their uh, flexibility. Compete on their flexibility. Now translating to production requirements. Now we operations give the thought process to change it then let's move on to the production process. Now, specific operation requirements include two general categories. Now, what are the two general categories? Number one is your structure, number two is your infrastructure. Remember, I had an example of your structure. He was talking about your uh, structure and your infrastructure. Now, structure is what is Structure is basically the decisions related to the production process. Joby decision with reference to production process, so that, that comes under structure, such as characteristics of facilities use, selection of appropriate technology, and the flow of goods and services. On the other side, after your infrastructure, that is related to planning and control system of operations. Now, translating into production requirements, Dell computer, structure, infrastructure. 
they focus on customer service cost and speed ERP system developed to allow customers to take order directly from love from uh, Dell and then product design and uh, assembly line how um, how allow a make to order strategy that lowers costs and increasing the return and increasing the and increases turns now the problem is that once you have applied the strategy of make to order it is basically that you may be either starting it at home or any business venture but problem that in make to order you have to customize or destiny customize costs increase bhi ho sakti hai then suppliers ship cabinets to warehouse within 15 minutes of the assembly line take it that is also ek tam aapki speed agar aap dekhe then dell setup has a shipping arrangement with ups dell ki courier company that is ups and what is the strategic role of technology Tec uh, let me just technology should support competitive priorities technology ne competitive priorities go support karna hai they have to look into it then there are three applications product technology process technology and information technology now products kaun kaun se ho sakte hai? teflon hai cds hai fiber hai processes kya ho sakte hai aapke flexible automation cad or information technology kya hai aapki POS, EDI, ERP, B2B. Take it. Now comes technology for competitive advantage. Technology has positive and negative potentials. Now, this is also one of the dilemmas that whenever we are talking about technology or whenever we are talking about economic growth, we just say be technology can uh, solve anything. And now there are uh, some climate advocates who would say uh, climate uh, advocates and which are saying that your technology hai, theek hai, that is actually affecting the businesses. Now businesses may is the effect ho sakta hai that sometimes aapki technology help kar rahi hai, sometimes they are actually hurting it. What we have seen is that hurting is zyada hoti hai because aapki ye jo carbon emissions hai, which is uh, going to happen in any case whenever you're going to start your operations so that actually affected so technology has both negative and positive potentials number one agar aapne positive potentials ko dekhna hai then kya aapne karna hai there has to be improvement in your processes number two they have maintained up to date records uske baad aapka aajata hai negative side negative technology is expensive then it promotes dependency we cannot then we start depending on our technology in every aspect of life and last risks such as overstating benefits so these are the uh, technology when it is used in operations in any competitive firm so technology technology should support competitive priorities number two can require changes to strategic plans and number three can require change to operation strategy and in three go change kar sakti hai given ki kitni zyada strong or aapki best technology hai. technology is an important strategic decision now agar aap ye dekhe let me just go with the first one productivity ki apne pehle apne operational efficiency ki baat ki thi let's now talk about measuring productivity a measuring productivity in the case of productivity is a measure of how efficiently inputs are converted into your outputs kitne time mein theek hai for this we have some calculations productivity ko hum kya kehte hain output divided by your input then agar hum total productivity ko measure karna hai then what you have to do is that total productivity is equal to total output divided by total of all inputs partial productivity measure total output divided by single output then multi-factor productivity measure ye kya hai? It total output divided by several inputs now coming on to that how we are measuring uh, productivity these are the different formulas that you have to remember 
नाउ कम्स द टोटल प्रोडक्टिविटी का अब एक एग्जाम्पल हम करते हैं एग्जाम्पल क्या कहता है द ब्लू गिल फर्नीचर मेक्स किचन चेयर द वीकली डॉलर वैल्यू ऑफ इट्स आउटपुट इंक्लूडिंग फिनिश्ड गुड्स एंड वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस इज अबाउट फोर्टीन थाउजेंड एंड टू हंड्रेड एंड एटी डॉलर द वैल्यू ऑफ इनपुट्स लेबर कैपिटल मटीरियल इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड डॉलर वॉट इज द टोटल प्रोडक्टिविटी मेजर फॉर द ब्लू गिल कैन यू डू इट हाउ यू डू इट दिस इज हर अब उसने हमसे क्या पूछा वॉट इज द टोटल प्रोडक्टिविटी और टोटल प्रोडक्टिविटी का हमने फॉर्मूला किया था आउटपुट डिवाइड बाई और इनपुट अब वो बोला हमने आउटपुट लिखा था दैट वॉज फोर्टीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एटी डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फाइव ट्वेंटी एट और आपका आंसर क्या आता है पॉइंट एट सिक्स फोर इसको अगर आप हंड्रेड के साथ डिवाइड किया तो दैट बिकम्स एटी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर परसेंट आपकी टोटल प्रोडक्टिविटी आपकी निकल आई ठीक है सेकेंड इज दैट ब्लू गिल फर्नीचर हैज हायर टू मोर न्यू वर्कर्स टू पेंट द चेयर्स टूगेदर दे विल दे हैव पेंटेड टेन चेयर्स इन फोर रूम्स वॉट इज द लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी फॉर दिस पेयर हाउ यू डू इट लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी क्या होती है इट इज बेसिकली आउटपुट डिवाइड बाई योर लेबर तो आउटपुट आपका क्या है टेन चेयर्स आपका लेबर क्या है वो जो आता है दैट इज टू और मल्टीप्लाई बाई फोर आवर्स एंड आपका आंसर क्या आ जाता है वन पॉइंट टू फाइव चेयर्स पर आवर आगे द थर्ड वन दैट इज द मल्टी फैक्टर प्रोडक्टिविटी ब्लू गिल फॉर नेचर एवरेज थर्टी फाइव चेयर्स पर डे लेबर कॉस्ट और एवरेज फोर हंड्रेड एंड एटी मल्टी लैटरल मटीरियल कॉस्ट आर टिपिकली टू हंड्रेड डॉलर एंड ओवर हेड कॉस्ट इज टू फिफ्टी डॉलर ब्लू गिल सेल्स द चेयर इन टू अर टेलर फॉर सेवेंटी डॉलर पर ईयर ना हाउ यू डू इट इट्स बेसिकली मल्टी फैक्टर प्रोडक्टिविटी को आपने क्या करना है वैल्यू ऑफ आउटपुट डिवाइड बाई लेबर मटीरियल एंड योर ओवर हेड कॉस्ट सो आपकी थी वैल्यू ऑफ आउटपुट आपको क्या आया दैट इज सेवेंटी मल्टीप्लाई बाई थर्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाई फोर एटी प्लस टू हंड्रेड प्लस टू फिफ्टी और आपका आंसर क्या आ जाता है टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री नाउ इंटरप्रेटिंग प्रोडक्टिविटी मेजर्स अभी हमने प्रोडक्टिविटी मेजर्स चार पढ़े थे कौन कौन से हैं नंबर वन इज योर विच वन डी यू रिमेंबर कि अभी हमने जो चार अपने किए हैं प्रोडक्टिविटी मेजर्स एक आपका कॉस्ट है एक आपका फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी है एक आपका टाइम है और एक आपकी क्वालिटी है नेवर फोर गेट दम ठीक है अब अगर आपने प्रोडक्टिविटी मेजर्स को इंटरप्रेट करना है तो वॉट वी से प्रोडक्टिविटी मेजर्स मस्ट बी कम्पेयर टू समथिंग उस स्टैंडर्ड का फायदा ही नहीं है उस मॉनिटरिंग uh, का कोई फायदा नहीं अंटे अनलेस यू डोंट मेजर इट समथिंग अगेंस्ट इस वजह से हमने क्या बनाया हुआ है वी हैव मेड दिस इंडसीज योर कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स योर परचेजिंग पावर पैरिटी इंडेक्स सो विद दीज इंडसीज वॉट वी आर ट्राई टू डू इज दैट वी आर एक्चुअली मेजरिंग आर प्रोडक्टिविटी अगेंस्ट दो स्टैंडर्ड्स प्रोडक्टिविटी मेजर्स मस्ट बी कम्पेयर विद समथिंग अगर आप किसी से कंपेयर नहीं करते हैं आपको पता ही नहीं कि आपसे भी अच्छा है कोई प्रोडक्शन में या देर इज समन एल्स हु इज बैड इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन सो यू गेट यू गेट सम सेल्फ सेटिस्फेक्शन कि मेरी ऑपरेशन ज़्यादा एफिशेंट है फॉर एग्जाम्पल पेप्सी कोक का चलता रहता है यूनिली और पी एन जी का चलता रहता है तो विच कंपनी इज मोर प्रोडक्टिव विच कंपनी इज मोर कम्पेटिव सो सेकेंड क्या है आपकी जो रॉ मटीरियल की जो प्रोडक्टिविटी है डिस्कवर्स डू नॉट टेल द कम्प्लीट स्टोरी ऑन लेस देर नो मेजर स्ट्रक्चरल डिफरेंसेस नाउ ऑपरेशन प्रोडक्टिविटी की बात कर रहे हैं सो वॉट आर द अदर प्रोडक्टिविटी मेजर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन जो हम पूछ सकते हैं दैट इज बेसिकली इज दिस पार्शल प्रोडक्टिविटी मेजर इन नफ टू मेक एन इन्वेस्टमेंट डिसीजन सो मैन वी आर लुकिंग इन टू दिस डिसीजन मेकिंग तो उसमें हम कहते हैं कि जी आइदर दिस इज सफिशेंट और नॉट नंबर टू 
should you also look at the productivity measures for the two major competitors for comparison or if you have taken a decision leni hai, you also look at the uh, what is it, hai, major competitors ke bhi aap unke cost structures ko dekh rahe hai, unke aapke productivity ko dekh rahe hai. because remember problem might be simple ठीक है लेकिन उसको जितने भी आप लोगों से पूछेंगे उतनी ही ज्यादा उसको टेक्निकल या उसको डिफिकल्ट बना देगा सो प्रोडक्टिविटी को मेजर लाज़मी आपने करना है इट्स मेजर प्रोवाइड्स इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन हाउ द फर्म इज डूइंग वेल रिलेटिव टू व्हाट इज क्रिटिकल फॉर द फर्म नाउ वंस यू हैव योर यू आर एक्चुअली हैविंग ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन and you are uh, how the firms are doing relative to what it is critical you are actually prioritizing things ki ji maine pehle kaun si cheez karni hai fir maine baad mein kaun si cheez karni hai theek hai and when we are talking about productivity in the social uh, in the service sector it becomes a little tricky it becomes little difficult why because traditional measures focus on tangible outcomes agar aap bas bitha doge and you are saying ji let's measure the productivity and you tell us how to uh, w- w- what is the service like and everything that's not going to work out so service industry primarily because they are actually producing the intangible goods and measuring intangible is very challenging operation strategy across the organization operation uh, your business strategy defines the longer term plan your business operation strategy support the business strategy that we have already covered your marketing strategy needs to be fully understand operation capabilities of uh i uh, sorry i'll uh, i'll do it again operation strategy across the organization अब ये जो बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी होती है दे आर एक्चुअली परफॉर्मिंग और दे आर एक्चुअली टेलिंग यू द लॉन्ग प्लान जो जिस पे सारी आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के सारे प्लान उस पर बेस्ड होते हैं देन ऑपरेशन स्ट्रैटी जो होती है दैट एक्चुअली सपोर्ट द बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी जो आपकी मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटी होती है दैट नीड्स टू अंडरस्टैंड कि मेरी ऑपरेशन की केपेबिलिटीज क्या है बिकॉज बेस्ड ऑन दोज क्वालिटीज दैट ही इज गोइंग टू गेट फ्राम दिस ऑपरेशन गाय That is actually their marketing points. Or your financial plans? What are they? In effect, support operations activities. These are the financial terms. Which are your operations? What are they? Your finance department is doing. Now, uh, I am just going to review that. Uh, what were the learning objectives of this chapter? We talked about the role of business strategy. which seems very important which seems very critical when it comes to uh, this creation or when it comes to the have a dissecting looks a uh, look on the operations ke ji aapke operations kaise hai but agar if you want to analyze ke ji what kind of operations you are uh, trying to achieve ya aap kya apne operations mein kis kisam ke niche dekhte hain then what you have to do is that you have to uh, come across a sound business strategy or business strategy aapke teen variables se aapki ban rahi hai one is your mission one is your environmental scanning and third one is your core competencies then uh, how a business strategy is developed that we did aur abhi maine wahi aapko bataya ki you need three things number one your core competencies number two your mission and number three is your environmental scanning then apre explain the role of operation strategy in the organization that we have covered ki ji operation strategy i can either make the organization or they can actually break the organization if you have a good organizational ya operational strategy you are you are going to get towards efficiency lekin agar aapke paas efficiency nahi hai theek hai if you are not going to uh, achieve efficiency or effectiveness in your operations then the, your strategy is a complete waste of time now explain the relation between business strategy and operation strategy we have already done that i, I told you we आपकी जो ऑपरेशन स्ट्रैटी है दैट एक्चुअली लीड्स यू टूवर्ड्स योर बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी देन गांस हाउ ऑपरेशन स्ट्रैटी इज डेवलप द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ योर ऑपरेशन स्ट्रैटी देन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट आइडेंटिफाई कंपेरेटिव प्रायोरिटीज फॉर द ऑपरेशन फंक्शन 
आपके वही कंपेटिव प्रायरिटीज़ हैं आपकी कॉस्ट है आपका टाइम है योर योर कॉस्ट एंड योर टाइम एंड देर आर टू अदर फैक्टर्स विच आर एक्चुअली गिविंग द कंपेटिव प्रायोरिटी टेक्नोलॉजी का अपने रोल देखा इट हैज़ अ वेरी डीप एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर ऑपरेशन बिकॉज टेक्नोलॉजी हेल्प्स यू इट ब्रिंगिंग मोर एफिशेंसी इन द इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट समाइम्स इट डजेंट बिकॉज आपकी दो किस्म की बात हो रही होती है वन कह रही आपकी टेक्नोलॉजी है एंड वी आर अर्ली अडोप्टर्स हम एकदम कर लेते हैं बट टेक्नोलॉजी अडोप्ट करना इज नॉट जस्ट द गेम इट्स बेसिकली कह रही पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली going to use the technology are they trained enough i was just reading one case recently and that was basically ki the schools ke andar uh, especially in the private schools because i don't know the case for the public schools that the smart boards of aage now it's pretty controversial some people say that the smart boards have actually improved the performance of the students and some say ki it has actually smart boards ne bilkul students ko dependent bana diya by on technology without रीडिंग उनसे उनकी ख़त्म होती जा हो, हो गई है एंड देर आर सर्टन स्कूल्स हु आर एक्चुअली यूजिंग द स्मार्ट बोर्ड टेक्नोलॉजी बट वी हैव एन अदर यूनिवर्सिटीज एक एम आई टी एंड हारवर्ड दे आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ स्मार्ट बोर्ड बिकॉज दे थिंक जी इससे आपकी कंसनट्रेशन सही नहीं होती एंड दे स्टिल यूज द ब्लैक बोर्ड चॉक्स सो टेक्नोलॉजी इज गुड लाइक द स्मार्ट बोर्ड हैव एक्चुअली मेड लाइफ ईजियर बट if in your school or in your university you introduce this thing these uh, smart boards and if your teachers doesn't know how to use them then what happens then it is a complete wastage of activity then define productivity and identify productivity measures that we have just uh, covered in terms of kitchen hamari productivity kya hai isme mein numericals ka fi kiye the and remember that uh, remember these formulas because these are going to come in your sessional 1 sessional 2 and time and in your other exams so yahi humne abhi baat ki thi ki ji computing the product, uh, productivity measures and chapter 2 ke jo major highlights the ye wo maine isme kya kiya hua hai uh, the slides that you will be getting or they will be uploaded basically business strategy ki definition hai then How this business strategy is developed? वही जो पीछे क्वेश्चन मैंने पूछे उनका have just written small answers so that once you start going through the course और अगर आपको कोई इशू होता है you can always go uh, read them और आपको clear idea हो जाता है कि जी वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट उसके बाद रोल ऑफ ऑपरेशन स्ट्रैटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर अचीवमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी दैन operation strategy focus on developing specific capabilities that are your competitive priorities then there are four categories one is the cost quality time and flexibility then technology can be used you should nahi sorry can be used by companies to gain competitive advantage and should be acquired to support their company's chosen competitive priorities उसके बाद प्रोडक्टिविटी क्या होता है इट इज बेसिकली अ मेजर दैट इंडिकेट्स हाउ एफिशिएंटली एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज यूजिंग इट्स रिसोर्सेज and productivity is computed as the ratio of organization outputs divided by inputs now this is uh, detroit edison iska uh, business ka ye hai case study hai uh, once you get the slides you can also have a look at it i'm not going to go in the detail kyunki aage isi ka hum pura case karenge this is nestle ka hai aapka strategic goal wo sara kuch isne bataya hai that financial plan marketing plan operational plan aur aapki jo mission jo hai business strategy wo aapki kaise in terms of nestle wo explain karta hai that ladies and gentlemen concludes our lecture number 5 and in today's lecture the major concept that you have to understand is ki the role of technology business strategy or operation strategy aap sun kaise sync on hoti hai and how we are working towards the how we are working in terms of gaining sustainable competitive advantage and how we can become more efficient as compared to our competitors till then i what i would uh, uh, recommend you that um, either before seeing the, the before looking at this lecture the this with the disc lecture either read the book or once you have uh, 
gone through this lecture then read the book and then you will see how interesting everything becomes because then you know ki practically kya ho raha aur theory mein humne kya padh rahe hai so try finishing out this chapter about uh, operational uh, reformulation of operation strategy and environmental scanning get your old what is it operations management ki a marketing ke agra book rakh le that will help you in terms of learning more things in this course till then take care of yourself allah hafiz